Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike with another cycling related video. So I'm back upstairs to talk to you about bike bags. This is my three month review of the Echelon Eclipse 22 liter messenger bag produced by the Indonesia company Life Behind Bars. I'll give you my review of this premium courier bag and show you why I think this is the best messenger bag on the market today. Okay, let's get to it. First off, a disclaimer, like all other product reviews, I'm not being paid to say anything about this product. This is just my honest opinion of a product I purchased with my own money. So it's not often I get this excited about a cycling accessory, but today this bag, yeah, this is exciting. Why am I so excited about this bag and this company? Well, four reasons. First, I never even heard of this company until three months ago when I started shopping around for what was available. And it's always exciting to discover something great that very few people have heard of. Second, the features and functionality of this bag is off the charts. Every component of this bag has been carefully thought out, as you'll soon see. Third, the quality of construction is top notch. And lastly, the price, when compared to other similar bags, is ridiculously low for what you get. Sound too good to be true? Let me show you. If there's a better bag out there, I want to know about it. So I've owned a few bike bags over the years, but the one I have used up until recently was the 25 liter messenger bag by Push the Envelope. This was a really well-built bag that I used for at least 15 years. The Toronto company no longer exists, but in the 90s, almost every bike courier on the road was using them. The only reason I got rid of it was because this bag had a non-reversible left shoulder strap. Since my crash last year, having a strap push against my left collarbone is too uncomfortable. So I needed a bag with a right shoulder strap. I liked push the envelope bag so much, I had a second one that I had to sell as well. Before I get into my review, a little bit about the company. Life Behind Bars is based in Jakarta, Indonesia. They offer a variety of cycling accessories for travel and daily commutes, but the largest selection is bike bags. They sell a lot of different types, including sling bags, messenger bags, and backpacks. And if you read a bit about the company and their products, you'll see that they are quite innovative in what they do. Okay, on to my review. I'll start with key specs on the bag and highlight some of its best features. Next, I'll demonstrate how to use the bag. Then I wanna talk about the price of the Echelon, especially in comparison to some other good messenger bags out there. Spoiler, it blows them away. Finally, I end things off with my final thoughts and my overall rating. So let's start off with specs and features of this bag as they are mighty impressive. This is the Echelon S Eclipse Messenger Bag, which is the smaller of their two Echelon bags. It retails for $115 US or $155 Canadian. It has a 22 liter capacity and weighs 1,090 grams or 2.4 pounds. The main fabric is 900D or 900 denier polyester with a DWR water repellent fish. It has a three millimeter waterproof TPU tarp liner. The closure systems are all industry-leading premium parts. The zippers are by YKK and made with automotive grade POM or polyacetyl thermoplastic, as is a side swivel buckle. The main flap is secured with German Fidlock sliding magnetic buckles, and the main shoulder strap buckle is a Wujin Duraflex POM. The shoulder strap is reversible, so it can be configured to fit on either the left or the right shoulder. There are several organizer pockets of varying size, some Velcro, some open pockets with no closure system, and a top one with a zipper. There are two side zipper enclosures where you can stash items with or without the flap open or closed. And there are compression straps at the bottom to secure large items that don't fit inside the bag, like a tripod or other unusual sized item. The inside has a laptop storage sleeve and the outer flap has two loop mounts that can be used to hook items onto, like a light. The one accessory I highly recommend buying is a tiny Houdini utility pouch. This is the best cell phone case you'll ever own. It's got a Fidlock sliding magnetic buckle, which is super easy to attach and detach with one hand. 
But the best feature is a handy pull tab that lets you magically lift your phone out of the case. Brilliant. It has a soft cloth interior, a pen sleeve, and a small storage compartment. Now for a short demo on how to use the bag. If you haven't used a messenger bag before, it can be a bit confusing the first time. Putting the bag on and taking it off is easy. To put it on, you start with the buckle of the main shoulder strap connected and the side strap released. You then lift the shoulder strap over your head and onto your left or right shoulder, depending on how you have the strap configured. I have it set up for a left-handed person, so I place the shoulder strap over my right shoulder. Tighten the strap and tuck the excess on the clip. Then latch the side buckle. And that's it. The bag is secured and you're ready to roll off. This is the classic messenger style cross chest strap configuration. If you want an even more secure fit, I suggest buying the secondary strap for the Echelon, which gives you LBB's signature X harness configuration and really locks the bag into place. The benefit of a messenger bag over a backpack style is that it's convenient to grab stuff out of your bag without having to take it off your body. To do this with the Echelon, all you do is detach the side strap, then loosen the shoulder strap by pulling down on the strap handle. Now you can swing the bag to the front and easily get access to the inside. To remount the bag, simply do the reverse. Swing the bag to your back. Tighten the strap by pulling down on the other shoulder strap. Clip on the side strap and you're done and ready to ride off. To remove the bag, just release the side strap. Loosen the shoulder strap and then lift the bag over your head. Let's talk about the price. Bottom line, this is a premium messenger bag designed really well and constructed with quality materials and parts, but it's priced quite a bit lower than its competition. You will find a lot of messenger bags that sell for between $150 and $200 Canadian, but I just don't think any of these are built as well, designed as well, or have as many features as the Echelon. Maybe something like the Mission Workshop Kite Messenger Bag can compete, but with a retail price of 585 US, it's five times the cost. So based purely on value for money, I think the Echelon Messenger Bag and other accessories by LBB are in a league of their own. Okay, now for my rating and final thoughts. I really do like the Echelon Messenger Bag and it's definitely the best bike bag I've ever owned. The company is cool. The bag has so many great design features and quality components that are unique to life behind bars that you don't see elsewhere. There isn't anything about this bag or the price that I don't like. I'm giving it an overall rating of 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I haven't given it a perfect score is because I haven't owned it long enough to be able to test out the durability of the bag over long-term use. But given the quality of the build, like the high abrasion resistance 900D polyester fabric, I do think it should hold up really well over time. That's pretty much all I have to say about the Echelon Messenger Bag by Life Behind Bars. A great option to consider if you're looking to buy a new bag for your daily commutes, or of course, if you're a bike messenger. That's all I got for today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're not a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe as it allows me to produce more content for all of you. See you next time. Happy rolling.